Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Process Modeling, a new feature in Visual Components 4.2. What is Process Modeling? It allows you to define what products you want to have and create during a simulation, where those products need to go, how the products get there, and what happens to the products during a process. To give you an example, I have a layout open in the 3D world. I'll run the simulation. I'm creating yellow products that flow along a conveyor line. A robot is being used to transport the products to and from a machine. And the whole operation just repeats itself. So I'll reset the simulation. And how did that work? Well, you can still build your layout the old-fashioned way. You build the layout first. And then, above the ribbon, you go to this tab here called Process. This will now display tools in this editor group here that allows you to create, define, and edit products which you can see here in the product type editor. Notice I have one product called Cylinder. It can be parametric. You can get properties from other components to define the product and also make your own, for example, a SKU for some type of work order. Now, where will this product go during a simulation? Just click the Flow button here in the editor group. This displays the Flow editor panel down here. And you can see the Cylinder belongs to a Flow group and it's going to these processes in order. So first step is to go from a conveyor to a machine and it will use a robot to transport the product from this process to the machine. When the product is then handled by the machine it will be transported by a robot to a conveyor. And notice in the 3D world we have transport links showing all this happening. So from this conveyor it will be transported by the robot to the machine and then it will be transported from the machine by the robot to this conveyor. So if I run the simulation you can see our cylinders are being created with a yellow material oh, with a defined radius and height. They go to the machine and the robot is being used to transport them. Now when the parts are in the machine, what is happening to them? Well this is where the processes button comes in handy here on the editor group. So if I click this, it will show me which processes I have defined in my layout. I have a process at this from conveyor, to conveyor, and also in the machine. So let's click the machine's label in the 3D world. This will now display its executor of its process. The top panel here is for conditions, so if you want to wait for certain things to be in the simulation before starting this process, you can define them here. But here is the actual process of when it's executed. So the machine will go from an idle state, and then it will wait for a product to be transported into it. It will then be busy. It will run a delay, close the doors, execute a custom process, move the joints, then put the machine in a block state and wait for the robot to transport out the product. So if we now run the simulation, we can see when the robot places the part in the machine, it will now run through its process. You can see it indicated here by this green button. Yep, so now it's just waiting for a product, it processes it, and it just loops again. It repeats itself. Let's close this out. Now, if you want to make your own layouts and practice using process modeling, what you can do is you can go to the Home tab, access your eCatalog panel. Let me make it bigger for you. And we do have a catalog of template components that you can use to make your own layouts and your own type of components. So if we go to Models by Type, scroll down, we have Process Flow Components. So right now in my simulation, my layout, I'm using From Conveyor Process to Conveyor Process. I'm also using a Product Feeder. We have process layouts, process resources, process template components, for example, an inline process for a conveyor, some workstation for a human and machines, process transport controllers. Right now I'm using a robot controller, which is what the generic robot here is attached to in my layout. And that's it. Now if you want to access documentation for process modeling, you can go to the Help tab here, open the Help file, and you can click the What's New section here to see what's new in 4.2. You'll have this section called Process Modeling. So if we go there now, you can have an introduction and background and workflows for doing it. And if we also go to the User Interface Views, you'll see more information about the Process tab itself, what commands are shown. If we go to Panels, you can see information about the Process Editor, the Flow Editor, and the Product Type Editor. And let's close this out. This completes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com 
And as always, have a wonderful day.